on the answer to all your burning questions. Hey guys, Curry Time Cosplay here and Princess Frenchie. And we want to talk to you about an awesome Valentine's Day topic, couples cosplay. I know a lot of people have been lately like cosplaying with like their significant other and stuff and like people do that that's great but like it's not all what it's cracked up to be it's lots of fun uh we've both done it with our significant others and like kitty said it's really not all what it's cracked up to be so my experience with couples cosplay is with my boyfriend darian he cosplayed anna and Kristoff from frozen it was really fun and it was great because it was mutual and like we both wanted to do it and we actually went to Disney World and they put us on their Facebook page. But it was horrible at the same time because it was very hot and we were wearing upholstery. But it was fabric. fun. Upholstery fabric. I yeah. love cosplayers use upholstery fabric. Yeah. Uh. And every every time he gets a Kristoff tunic on, I have to help him. He cannot do it himself. So that's a good thing about couples cosplay. You help each other. And it's kind of just like having a cosplay partner, whether it's your best friend or it's your significant other, somebody that you're dating, or a stranger. <laughs> yeah, whoever you're cosplaying with, it's like the same situation. You gotta be with somebody that you're cool with and somebody that you're gonna you know, get along with. Obviously, you'd hopefully be getting along with your boyfriend or girlfriend. Most recently, my experience with couples cosplay is my um, current boyfriend is in the military and he's always liked anime and always liked cosplay and stuff. He's never really done cosplay until he started dating me and I'm like, come to the dark side. <laughs> but um, we, he, he was living in South Dakota recently, or he was stationed there for his military crap. And um, he, there's a con up there that we'd gone to a couple years because he'd been up there for a while. So we kept going to this con and we finally decided to actually cosplay together. Well, we'd done like Team Rocket or something like that. But we actually did um, <clears throat> Yoko and Kamina from Garn Lagan, we've been wanting to do for forever. So it was his last year up there, and it was our last year going to that con. So I was like, we're going to do it. And there's also this really awesome photo shoot location um, called the Badlands National Park. And it's super, like, Garn Lagan-esque. Like, it looks like the whole anime set. And it's crazy. So I was like, I'm making this cosplay. So I was like busting my butt trying to make the whole thing and make his costume and I'm like uh, stress out uh, and I know it really doesn't seem like much for their cosplays because it's simple but like when you get down to things no matter how simple a cosplay looks it's kind of difficult depending on who you are and your skill level and like I don't consider myself an extremely skilled cosplayer I can't bust things out in a couple days it takes me a while I'm lazy you know I have a life so <laughs> making two <laughs> costumes is like Ugh, gotta do this, gotta have it perfect, and it wasn't perfect, but it was it was perfect enough for me, so. And it was great to finally do that with somebody that, like, boyfriend, you know, like, do it with your significant other, you're like, it brings you closer, you know, too, yeah, so. You'll look super cute, too, so. There are also bad sides to couples cosplay, which also goes, like, literally couples cosplay goes same hand in hand with, like, partner cosplay, no matter who it is, like I said. Like Kitty said, lots of cons, just like there's lots of pros to couples cosplay. Pros and cons to everything um, in life. One of those things would probably be being like, oh my gosh, I want to do this cosplay, but they're like, no, that's so stupid. I'll go up to my boyfriend and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I really want to do this super cute Disney cosplay and I just want to be Rapunzel and Flynn and just do it with me. And he's like, okay. And I'm like, are you not excited for this? And he's like, <laughs> Yeah. And I'm like, you're not excited for this, you know, like... <laughs> Everybody's got their own ways of showing how excited they are about stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, and then sometimes I'll go over to him with, like, some really crazy stuff, and he's like, I'm not doing that. Like, mm -hmm. Caitlin, you're stupid. And I'm like... <laughs> Try to force somebody into spandex, that's always fun. <laughs> Especially if it's a boy. Yeah, that's my favorite. A man, a man um, trying to wear spandex. Please do it for the cost. There's also that, like scheduling like trying to get both y'all decide if you gotta go to a con like can you both go to this con at the same time like do you can you work around each other's schedule because you're not just working around one person's schedule it's all it goes the same sorry i just like spoke so fast <laughs> it also goes the same for uh like group cosplay and like like i said again partner cosplay like no matter who it is if you're with other people or another person you know work around everybody's schedule make sure everything's perfect mm -hmm. like there's a lot that goes into cosplaying that people don't really take into consider Asian, especially consideration <laughs> especially people who are definitely not cosplayers like a lot yeah. of people don't understand that like like we're, we're doing a group cosplay soon with a bunch of girls and it's like 
It's like, we gotta figure out everyone's schedule. Can we all go to this con? Can, Can we, we all meet? make these outfits? Can it, does it, it has to all look the same. They all have to be the same materials. Like, you know, it has we to be matching stuff. So it's a lot of work, uh, aside from just making the outfit mm -hmm. and wearing it. So yeah. like planning, there's a lot of planning. Even if you don't have a significant other, do not feel bad. Cause like Kitty and I have been talking about this entire time, couples cosplay is exactly the same from like cosplaying with just a friend, you know, like. You're like, doing it as friends, and you should be friends with your significant other yeah, anyway, so like, yeah. it's like a party, you know, everybody's having fun, and like, really, do whatever makes you happy, and you don't have to have certain things to make you happy, you just huh. gotta make yourself happy, and it's all about you, you yeah. know, your life is your stuff. And I mean, you don't even have to cosplay with anybody, just, just cosplay, just have fun, and just be a nerd, you know, like, just do it, and... You'll be happy. Just like Staying positive saying. is the key to happiness yes. and success in life. So. Well, yeah, that's all we really have to say about couples cosplay. We hope that everybody has a super spectacular Valentine's Day. And stay positive, stay happy, keep cosplaying. This is Princess Frenchie and Curry Time Cosplay signing out. Hey you! Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. You can also check out Enemy Secrets on Twitter, Tumblr, and Facebook. Do you want more than that? I know you do. Then go to our website where you can see daily updates and articles and exclusive interviews.